We're grateful this terrible incident was brought to a swift resolution. Today, Springfield police released body camera video and 911 calls from an officer involved shooting in a juvenile detention center in Sangamon County. Good evening. I'm Brendan Morano. Kareen is off tonight. In October, we told you a 17 year old Cameron Darden was detained and killed. The footage and calls are all part of a six minute video narrated by Springfield's police chief. We want to warn you some of these images may be graphic. WCI 3's Theodore Kulavaris has the story. Newly released body camera video and 911 calls are giving a closer look at an officer involved shooting at this juvenile detention center in Sangamon County. On September 30th, employees at the detention center made calls to 911, saying there's a kid inside the facility with a gun. As the call plays, surveillance footage from inside the facility shows 17 year old Cameron Darden with a gun that police say he managed to get a hold of and that he was trying to escape. Did he shoot me once? I think he did, yes. The workers then tell 911 operators Darden is holding a female hostage. She was also a detainee at the facility. She's seen in the video with her hands raised in the air. Additionally, the same individual had fired at multiple victims inside the center just prior to officers' arrival. Springfield police and other agencies responded to the call. A veteran officer with Springfield Police and one in training got to the scene first. Police say the 17-year-old suspect was making his way out of the facility with the young woman he held hostage. He was later shot by police. They say his gun fell out of his hands and onto the ground. The video then shows him trying to grab the gun and police shot at him again. Police body camera video shows officers bringing the girl to safety. She had injuries from shrapnel and was treated at a hospital and released. Later in the video, officers are shown trying to provide medical care to Darden using a tourniquet until medical workers arrived. He was taken to a nearby hospital and later died. While the death is tragic, the instantaneous organized response, which was carried out exactly how the officers were trained, clearly prevented additional loss of life. Police say Darden used a Gearson 9mm handgun. Illinois State Police is handling the investigation. When asked how Darden got a hold of a gun, the agency told WCIA, quote, ISP is currently reviewing all of the surveillance footage and following up on other information, so we're not able to comment further at this time. A Sangamon County official told WCIA detention staff do not carry firearms. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris. Now, Chief Scarlett says both initial responding officers have been placed on restricted duty assignment pending the complete and thorough investigation which the Illinois State Police is handling. The remaining people held at the facility were transferred to a different juvenile detention center. The director of Sangamon County's Probation and Court Services told WCIA in a statement, quote, juveniles have not returned to the detention center at this time and there is no timetable set for their return as ISP continues their investigation.